a long time, so we do have quite a few things to cover. But first and foremost, I thought we had a really good off season. Uh, I was impressed with what our players did in the in the weight weight room and in the conditioning aspect of it, quickness aspect of it. First and foremost, we had a really good attitude and worked extremely hard, uh, and that sets a lot of standards. You know, we, I really believe that you carry over from what you do in the weight room onto the practice field. Uh, we worked on getting obviously stronger and faster. Some guys bigger, some guys smaller. Uh, but there was a good plan in place, and I thought our players worked hard at it. Uh, I think we're doing a good job with our nutrition program. You know, uh, we have a, a great nutritionist in the, in the Thornton Center over there now has really helped us with, uh, with what we do with the training table. So I'm, I'm impressed with the guys that needed to gain weight, the guys that needed to lose weight, and, and how we did there. Um, we also did a good job of studying football. You know, one of the things you do in the off season is you try to understand your position better, try to understand the schemes that we're doing, also get to know the other side of the ball, really what you know offensive players need to know what defenses are asking their guys to do. Defensive players need to know what offenses are doing. And I thought our players put a lot of time into it in studying that and, and really understanding that this preparation phase of their career is about getting better physically, but also mentally. So I was I was happy with what we what we did there. Uh, testing week was fun. It was enjoyable. Uh, I always like it because it's the first time you get to look and see kids compete, and that's that's the main reason that we test is to see them compete and see if they can put all that hard work in and then perform. So uh, trying to really put the pressure on them to perform and do something well, and we. We had a lot of guys that did a great job. We had some really good lifts. We had some good guys on the vertical jump, good 40 times. So it was, you know, impressive to see guys that, you know, uh, like a Caleb Tillman, you know, a guy who came in here off the shoulder surgery. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't know how much he would compete this spring for a starting job, but now because of the testing and, and the numbers that he hit and, and his explosiveness. You know, you feel like, hey, we, he's, he's got the opportunity now to really get in and, and help us on the defensive line. You know, a guy like P.J. Blue, who I thought did a great job in the testing week, and he's coming off of a, of a surgery also. Uh, so he didn't get to do a lot of the lifting part of it, but just to see his explosiveness and his ability to, to uh, get off the ground and, and run, um, he gets, you know, a really good look this spring to say, hey, coach, I'm, I'm ready to start. So... That's a good reason why we do that. I am looking forward to tomorrow. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, first and foremost, our new staff. To see those guys out there, Peter Sermon running the defense, and uh, watch him coach and, and see how the players uh, and him relate to each other. Peter's been very impressive to me. Uh, obviously has great knowledge of the game and the position that he coaches. I uh, played the game real well, and um, I like the way he interacts with the players right now. I like his confidence and his demand, so it would be fun to watch that. Get to see a couple of my old coaches out again, Lorenzo Ward, Mike Summers. Um, Lorenzo is a, a guy that's a, a great coach, very, very good technically, and very good motivator. And then have Mike back and, and work with our offensive line, I think will be something I'm looking forward to. He's also, you know, helped him coordinate the offense and his leadership and, and direction there, I think, will really help us too. Um, and then get out on the field and, and see how the players go. You know, defensively, I think we're going to really need some leadership from Stacy Thomas and Drew Bailey and, and uh, you know, guys like Chucky and um, Jair Alexander. You know, those guys are going to have to really give us the leadership because we are losing some or we lost some really good players and some great leadership over there. Then offensively, you know, it's time for Jaron and, and Lucas to step up and, and really lead on offense. Obviously, Reggie and, and Lamar are going to be counted on for a lot of leadership. Uh, and Jeremy Smith, and I think Jeremy's done a nice job in this offseason, really uh, motivating himself and, and dedicating himself to getting bigger and faster and um, I've liked what I've seen from him throughout the entire offseason. So, uh, we will have a few guys that will be out. 
that won't be able to be out there. Uh, Jalen Smith will be out all spring. Uh, Jalen had off-season surgery. He had what's called a, a hot spot and a stress fracture in his foot. And what they recommend now is to go in and, and fix it before it, it completely breaks. And then you're looking at a Jones fracture, similar uh, you know, to what we've had around here before. Um, so we went in and did the surgery as a precaution. And unfortunately, we won't have him this spring, which is a, too bad because he's a great player. And I was looking forward to how to use him more. Uh, Jonathan Grenard will be out. He also had a, a surgery um, in, his, in his hip. Um, he's doing real well. We anticipate he'll be back and doing great. Uh, we will get some work from Trayvon Young, which is exciting. You know, he's, uh, he's been working hard. I think he surprised himself on how well he lifted and, and how well he verticaled in the, in the testing aspect of it. He says he's feeling well. Uh, we will really monitor it and take it slow, but he should be able to, at least the last couple of weeks, get some uh, you know, team and group work in there and, and uh, see if he's going to be ready to go. That would be a huge bonus for us if we get him back to, to where he was. Also, Cornelius Sturgill uh, will be out there and, and get some work. Again, we'll monitor it and, and build it up slowly. Uh, he's very impressive. You know, a year ago, he, he blew out 40. Um, this year, and we do run it on the track, so it's a little bit different, a little bit faster times. But this year, we were just having him run a, a 20 um, just to get him feeling good and get going. And so he, he burst through um, and then glided in and, and ran a really good 40 time. It wasn't even a full speed time for him. It was just a, a glide. Uh, so he is that explosive and, and that fast. And it would be great to, to have him back. Uh, London Iacopa will get some work in. It'll be all non-contact. Kane Pass, who had shoulder surgery, will get work in, but will be all non-contact. And we might get Malik Williams in some late here in spring to see if you know if he can get out there and do some individual work. Uh, they all are doing well off of, off of their surgeries. So, with that, I'll just open up for questions. What will you be? What will you be looking for when you watch Coach Sermon coach and interact with the players? Uh, you know, just his style and his teaching ability and, you know, how the different ways you go about things. And, you know, I'm, I was always under the understanding that I go out on the field and I learn just as much from other coaches and players as, as anything. So, uh, but I, it'll be fun for me to get out there and watch. Has the new transition to the, uh, the, or the transition of the new coach, do you feel like it's been pretty smooth? Yeah, I think so. I think the players are excited about it, and they relate real well to each other. Obviously, they respect his knowledge and, and uh, the style that he uses, so it'll be fun to see it. You've been around Mike Summers for a long, long time. What makes him such an effective offensive line coach? Yeah, well, first, he's a great teacher. You know, Mike does a, a really good job of, of details and, and teaching and relating with the players, motivating them to, to practice. Uh, he's got great knowledge and experience. You know, and, and when you have the experience, you know how to fix things, and that's what we got to make sure we get done is to be able to fix things. Yeah, James is full go. Um, Henry will be, uh, you know, he'll be out there some. I don't think he's full go yet, but he should be out there and be able to participate some.